As wedding guests prepare for their arrival at Windsor Castle tomorrow, they'll not only be concerned about what to wear, but also, of course, etiquette. They'll be dining and dancing alongside royalty. Yeah, so it looks gorgeous from the outside, but how tense will it be inside? Our next guest, Giovanni Letford, offered to DJ for the reception when he met the couple at a radio station in Brixton earlier in the year. Uh, it's lovely to see you again, Giovanni. Uh, he can't reveal whether he'll be behind the decks mm. tomorrow, but he does say he has got a private gig. Is that right? You've got something on yep. tomorrow. I'm, I'll be DJing tomorrow. He's definitely, definitely DJing, but yeah. he won't tell us whether he's going to be at the party or not. Oh, he's uh, he such does a know. Tease. He does know all the right tracks for them uh, to play, of course. Yeah. And also joining us is former royal butler to Prince Charles at Grand Harrow. Good to see you this morning. Let's start with you then. Um, what a, you've actually got experience mm. of the royals letting their hair down, haven't you? Because you yourself have danced with the Queen. I have. I have in Scotland, and I've also been to a royal wedding, so I I kind of know what what goes on and, and how to behave. Is she the move? She's a very good dancer. Is she? She's very good. She knows exactly how to dance. I was, I was terrified of putting a foot wrong, but it was, uh, it was wonderful. Which royal wedding were you at then? John? Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall at St George's Chapel. Of course, again. it was the last time. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. And in terms of the atmosphere, I mean, that was a slightly different wedding, of course, for for for, for, very, for obvious mm. reasons. But was the was it sort of a, a party like most other wedding parties? Is it dropping your hair down and everybody jumping up and down yeah. and doing the conga around the room I think... and agadu? It, because it's the royal family, it is slightly different because you've got the Queen there, you've got senior members of the royal family. So the, there is part of you that's always kind of remembering how to behave and what to do. But at the same time, at the reception afterwards, it was very re relaxed and it's very strange just wandering around and just speaking to the royals. So when you're dancing with the Queen, are you, I mean, presumably it was some form of ballroom dancing, was it? No, it was a real. You did a real. Real. Oh, okay. So were you allowed to touch them? You do. I mean, actually, for this dance, I was also holding the hand of the Duchess of, of Cornwall, so you wow. have to. So I know there's a rule, you, you look and you don't touch, but on that occasion, you, you have to, otherwise it would be a very strange dance. You got stuck in. <laughs> exactly. It's the best thing about it. So with dance. that in mind, what kind of music would you play then? Um, well, you know, I'd, I'd play a bit of everything, to be honest with you, in terms of, you know, to get everyone into it after the first dance. Um, I'd probably play... Um, like I said before, a remix of um, Dancing Queen, um, because I think... Dancing well, Queen? Yeah. ABBA? Well, oh, well, my, never fails. Yeah, um, but I've actually made a version and I'd actually... Have we got a little listen? Can we have a little listen? Yeah, sure, I can, I can get it on for you right now. So this is, this is, this is your remix version of, of Dancing Queen for that would get everybody up and, and going? Yeah. OK, let's have a listen. Don't recognise it so far. You will now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there Goodness you go. Me. So a little bit of Dancing Queen, but the Giovanni remix of it. Yeah. And then I'd probably go into the original as it as it progresses. So you mix through to the original. What do you think they'd make of that, Grant? I mean, you're, you're wincing slightly. Uh, that's fine. I'm more used to getting a bit of Strauss, a bit of Mozart, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah. we, can, we, can, we can get by. I'll just stand quietly in the corner. Mm. And when the when the, the celebrations get a little less formal, mm. and in fact, it's all quite informal, really, isn't it? It's the bowl food and all of that. Absolutely. Bowl, yeah. What do you make of that? Bowl food, is it, that's quite traditional with a lot of royal events. It's, a, it's very easy. It's a great way of being able to kind of mix a room, talk to people. The only thing I always say is make sure that there's a table so you can set your bowl and your glass down if you get to meet the Queen or a member of the Royal Family so you can actually shake the hand mm. if you offer the hand and do the bow and the cutsy. Is there someone going, is there someone going around just giving everybody a little tip, like this is the situation? Would they, would they have had a, a note with the invite, depending on which particular invite they've got, saying, look, just be aware there's a bit of protocol you need to know? Or will they not, be Googling it? Not really. I mean, the, the kind of information you get is just the kind of basics of parking and where to it, but the entrances and the exits and that kind of thing. Mm. The actual what to do, it's not like that. I mean, unless you're going for an investor or something, then obviously you get told. But for this kind of thing, it's kind of, people are just kind of allowed to do what they want. I think everyone's got an understanding of what you're expected to do and how to behave, hopefully. Would there be people in the room, though, just in case someone's getting a little bit bawdy or bowdy? They might just come over and say, uh, just one moment, sir. Well, mm -hmm. Butlers, hopefully. Oh, <laughs> yeah. they'll, 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 they'll be the police on the night. No, there'll be, uh, there will be people there. And, and thankfully, in all my years that I was there, I didn't see anybody kind of getting out of hand. So uh. everyone's on their best behaviour. So look, the remix is still playing underneath this. Uh, rather delightfully. Uh, you a little, haven't broken a 20th dad yeah, dancing no, no, yet, I, have I actually you? recognise it now. Yeah, yeah. How much of a middle-aged man I am. <laughs> uh, look, we've got the footage of you when you when you met oh, yeah. uh, the couple, of course, mm. at, at, the, at the radio station where you work in Brixton. This is you giving Prince Harry the card. Now, what you can't tell us is whether you're at the gig tomorrow night. Mm. 
But have you spoken to somebody since you gave him that card? I haven't. I've spoken to several people since. Um, Royal people, oh. rather than just um, mates. I mean, I, you know, this is territory that I don't want to sort of um, okay. go down. But um, but what I will say is that um, that that moment has had a very positive impact on my life. Really? Yeah. Okay. So. Um, oh, I'm so excited for you. Thank you. What uh, else about, might you play if you are in any way connected to this? Not or that we can speculate be. on. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, don't, even hint. Yeah, yeah. don't even hint. Um, another song that I'd get on um, is... Oh, come on. A bit of Jackson Fine. Mm. Come on. Play Molly Boogie. Boogie. Is this yeah. quite, your street? It's not quite Strauss yet, Grant. Is it? God, any God save the Queen? Or... <laughs> well, <you know. laughs> Perhaps not the Sex Pistols version, uh, I'm yeah, thinking, yeah. but you never know. Sounds interesting, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Blame it on the boogie. Yeah,